and everybody have an up. Imagine a future in which the only barrier of entry for large scale production is actually having a cool idea. My name is Gaston Maffei. I have several years of experience in the 3D printing industry, and today I'd like to show you a way in which such a future could be possible. The problem today is that centralized specialized manufacturing makes it hard for companies, especially small ones, to reach economies of scale. However, in a future filled with advanced 3D printers that can mix plastic with metal and even embedded electronics, we envision that customers empowered by our services will actually be purchasing from companies their permission for a local printer to manufacture the products at most a few blocks away from them. We believe that in the age of data, the only thing flying around will be information. Essentially, we will be building a decentralized manufacturing platform using a huge 3D printer network. Now, I know this is a big vision, so let me tell you what, what we're doing right now to make it happen. To penetrate the market and get printers on board, we will be deploying an automation platform for the whole process of 3D printing, from 3D design to finished piece. We have a working prototype whose advanced features essentially allow me, as a user, to just drag and drop the designs and watch how finished parts come out of my 3D printers. Just from using this platform in my 3D printing business, we have more than doubled the efficiency of, my of our machines and reduced our hiring needs by 65%. While we will be targeting the tech-savvy 3D printers out there first, by 2025, the additive manufacturing market size is huge at $45 billion. However, if we manage to reach critical mass in our network and enable decentralized manufacturing, we will be tapping into a $400 billion market, and we have already identified several industries which could use this, this technology. Today, we're seeking $400,000 to grow the team and further develop and market the product, as well as advisors with experience and contacts in the manufacturing industry. So I'd like to leave you with a question. In the age of data, what do you think manufacturing will look like? Centralized or decentralized? Thank you very much. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> Okay, so as a follow-up to your previous question on Monday, um, sure, uh, at first, maybe industries which don't rely on too much um, quality control, such as home decor or even tools where functionality is key, uh, but later on as quality and quality control improves in 3D printers, maybe even IoT devices is a good industry. Any other questions? I actually have a general comment. Um, I, I, I was late, but uh, uh, from the last few pitches, you guys don't like to use your own company's email. You use Hotmail, you use Gmail. You're losing the opportunity for branding in the early days. Sure, thank you. Uh, that's a common, yeah. Use your company email to brand. Uh, it actually, I look at I look at that to see whether the entrepreneur is all in, or if they're just partially in. So, uh, if I'm evaluating a deal, I want to make sure if they're completely in. Are they wearing the T-shirt? Do they have the email? If it's a Gmail account, it it, it sends a message that you're one foot in and one foot out. Uh, good presentation. You. Uh, can you 3D print your 3D printers? Uh, not right now. It's a famous project it's called the Rebra project, but uh, it's that would, Sorry? that would save a lot of cost. Sorry, that would save a lot of cost. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>